Number 15. Stranger at the Door Would you answer if you saw this dude at your front door at 2 a.m.? Posted to Facebook by KTVU Fox 2 in April of 2020. The surveillance footage will have you double-checking your locks. A strange man was caught on camera racing up to a Brentwood home at 2 a.m. When his ring doorbell alarm system went off, the homeowner was in bed with his wife. His daughter was also at home. The homeowner immediately called the authorities. The man was outside for about 15 minutes, but by the time the officer arrived, he disappeared not without having taken the exterior security camera and slashing the homeowner's car tire, however. Needless to say, the family had a hard time going back to sleep, and it's good they didn't. Two hours later at 4 a.m., the man returned. He took yet another surveillance camera from home, but this time the authorities arrived sooner. Within five minutes, they confronted the man. Frustrated, the homeowner told KTVU, It's mind-boggling. What, they have to wait for that guy to, you know, break the door and then who knows what. I think most of us can understand his frustration. Mean Mop Ghost some ghosts are just plain mean. Posted to the Very Spooky Videos subreddit by a major malfunction, the security footage captures the after hours at a restaurant as waitresses walk through the stockroom cleaning up for the night. The first piece of paranormal evidence you see is the mop and its bucket moving jarringly across the floor. A waitress is seen gathering glasses and plates off the table, returning to the stock room, where she picks up the mop and brings it back to the restaurant area. Placing it near a table, she starts gathering more plates and glasses, when suddenly her head yanks back, as though some unseen force is pulling her hair. She is pulled off screen and out of sight. This one looks hard to fake. What does this poltergeist want, and why so angry? For all those who work in service jobs, nevertheless, it's 100% terrifying. Number 13. Witch on the Road This is the last thing you would want to see in the middle of the road at night. Published to YouTube by Christian Garcia in October of 2017, this clip is titled Witch on the Road. The footage shows a motorcyclist driving on dirt roads in the middle of the night. After a time, he comes across a person sitting on the side of the road in the darkness. The person is wearing blue pants, a white shirt, and has gray hair. She doesn't look up, even with the headlights of the motorcycle spotlighting her. The cyclist takes off, but then decides to turn around again. They approach the witch, say hello, and ask what her name is. When they receive no real response, Hola, señora. They drive off into the night, leaving this person, or witch as they say, in the darkness on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. What would you do in just such a situation? YouTuber Mario Batanker 2 writes in the comments, Ghost or non-ghost, it's always a little disquieting if not disturbing. A being in a place so far, dark and alone. I think this video generates more sensations than many super elaborate videos that come up in such situations. What sensations do you feel? I feel terrified. Number 12. Rabid Beast Unknown creatures can be startling, but none more so than this one. This clip submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by KidRob97, wondering what in the heck this creature is. <laughs> Suggestions in the comments range from a bat to a giant flying squirrel to a Kalago, which is a flying lemur. Knowing what it actually is wouldn't make this footage any easier to watch. The creature is making one of the most agonizing sounds the human ear has ever heard. While it bounds across the ground, hopping and unable to fly, the people have somehow caught the animal, which is tethered to a stick. If you've never seen this type of creature up close, this isn't the way you'd want to encounter it. People in the comments wonder if the animal somehow got stuck on this branch. However, the poor creature ended up in this position. I think we can all agree with Lisa's Matrix that this is just heartbreaking. Number 11. Sixth Sense Another dog with something to prove. 
posted to YouTube by It's Just Mars in March of 2012. The uploader writes that her dog does this most nights. The clip shows the dog on high alert for five minutes, growling, barking, and whining. At the end of the video, the uploader says that the closet door just opened on its own. The dog appears very upset by this and is pacing around the bed. I really think that the dog was right about everything. There's something unseen in this house. Number 10. Levitation Posted to the Skydentify subreddit by Skell Jelly, the clip shows a dark human figure floating through a grey sky. The figure is captured rising up and then drifting down towards the roof of a house, where it disappears. Is this a true levitation? What's going on here? Some in the Reddit comments suggest it's Chris Angel, while others say it might be a Halloween decoration hooked up to a drone. Redditor Ipone Pickles noted that this sighting was linked to an event where a police officer in Mexico claimed that a flying humanoid or a Mexican witch went after him. Looking into this theory turned up the story in question. According to Disclose TV, police officer Leonardo Smaniago was patrolling in Monterrey, Mexico. When at around 3 in the morning, he noticed a large black object fall from a tree. But before it hit the ground, it stopped in mid-air, appearing to levitate before touching down. The officer said that he turned on his patrol car's high beams. As the figure turned to him and saw that the thing was dressed in a black cloak, with big eyes with no eyelids. As the light beams fell on him, the figure shielded its face. The officer then claims that the witch-like creature pounced on the hood of his patrol car. He immediately sent the car into reverse and called for backup. He fled but lost consciousness at the end of the street, where the first responders found him. The officer underwent evaluations, all of which came out clean. In the wake of his story, other city residents have come forward, also claiming to have witnessed the same strange figure in the area. A couple of additional officers from the Regia police force and public figures noted that they'd seen a levitating figure in the sky prior to this event. Is this figure in the sky something that can be explained away? Or does this story hold water? Number 9. Basement Ghost Here's a scary basement we should all probably get out of. Published to YouTube by an everyday Canadian in April of 2016, the Canadian says in the clip he heard a banging in the basement that wasn't the washer or dryer. <sighs> His kids are asleep upstairs, and he's freaked out about the sounds coming from below. As he heads downstairs to the unfinished basement, you hear immediately what he's talking about. A loud bang in the darkness is heard off to his right. Still, he continues to descend. After turning his light on, he scans the room. The light catches a small toy shopping cart in one corner of the room that's apparently not supposed to be there, judging by the man's reaction. The little cart then starts moving on its own before zooming across the room towards him. What the f was that? What the f this is where the video ends abruptly. We hope that the everyday Canadian made it out alive. Number 8. Ghost in an Abandoned House When you go onto abandoned property, don't expect to be the only one there. Published to YouTube by Double Bins in January of 2008, this video will dissuade you from ever entering an abandoned home. The clip shows some adventurers exploring an empty home, or one that they think is empty anyway. The two-story White House appears to be in the middle of the countryside. As the boys approach it, its big empty windows are like empty eye sockets, giving the house an even more sinister vibe. They enter the house, which doesn't even have a door. It's wide open to whomever dares come inside. The place is an absolute nightmare. It looks as though something tore through the house and destroyed everything in its wake. The oven door is in the middle of the living room. As the boys walk through, the one filming scans the roof, which has a window open to the second floor. That's when they see they're not alone. A figure passes by in plain view overhead. The roof is off. Oh! Dude, oh my! Needless to say, 
The boy who captures it on film immediately flips out, and they both race out of the house and across the field. Whether ghost or human, this is definitely something worth fleeing from. Number 7. The Barn Nothing like heading out to the old barn in the middle of the night. Posted to the Chills narrator subreddit by the Comics Man, and originally posted to YouTube in April of 2020 by the channel Me and Some Dudes. Comics Man writes, Thought I saw something at 1 minute 19 seconds. Don't know. Let's take a look and find out. The guy filming sets out to show us his barn at night. He notes that there's a shed full of roosters to the side, and sometimes they go berserk. He says when they do, and he goes to check on them. The door is always open. His theory is that there are bunnies or raccoons living beneath the barn, but how would they open the door? Eugene Krabs in the YouTube comments points out at around 1 minute 18 seconds that something appears to duck down behind the grey thing in the barn. Do you see it? We can only hope it's a raccoon and not something creepier. Number 6. Dog Sees Ghost as we've seen in past videos, animals often see things that we don't, and sometimes that can send chills down our spine. Published to YouTube in January of 2018 by the Bram Fam, the video starts out tame as the Bram Fam picks up a doghouse from the store. They each go about their day doing various things for the vlog, but once Bram T is home with her daughter, she starts hearing things inside the house. The uploader notes that their dog Milo started acting super spooked, staring in the hallway and outside their balcony. As you can see, the dog appears on high alert, unmoving and staring out into the darkness. He is then captured staring out into the hallway. When Louis finally returns home, Bramty says she finally felt relieved. Do you think this dog was sensing something or someone in the home? Should they, as Bramty suggested, have the house blessed? That way it hopefully be cleansed. Number 5. Lexworth Village Some scary videos just stay with you, so much so that you wish you'd never seen them in the first place. This video comes from Ghost Crusaders, published to YouTube in April of 2020. This episode explores the haunted Lexworth Village. The crew's very first haunted location, which they investigated in 2014, located in Rockland County, New York. In a 1921 report, over half of the residents in Lechtworth were youth, 328 of the 506 patients, ranging from the age of 0 to 16. This fact may contribute to the negative energy in the village as many Lechtworth staff said a scarcity in necessary supplies, as well as food and water. Lechtworth's conditions were exposed through photographs and media investigations, and although reforms were made in the 1970s due to public pressure, Lechtworth permanently closed in 1996. Since then, the complex has fallen into decay. Everything remains how it was left, instantly abandoned. The Ghost Crusaders explores this institution and all its appalling history. The crew notes in the comments, while using an SB11 spirit box, I never thought I captured any EVPs. It wasn't until reviewing the footage for this episode that I heard the voice, and yes, I can hear other voices like multiple people talking, which I do say at one point, but I edited it out for timing. But I can't make out what they are saying. If anybody's in here, at one point, the EVP captures a voice saying, So something comes through, it should be irrelevant. So it's not hard to get interference. So something comes through, it should be irrelevant. A moment later, the voice pleads, Please don't hurt me. Later, when they are in the bathroom, a voice, potentially from a phantom orderly of the hospital, tells them to sit, as if directing them to do their business on the toilet. Yes. Some of the EVPs mentioned are not very clear, but the female scream that's heard through the spirit box at one point is definitely frightening. Later, their cameras run out of battery, and while they're changing the batteries, 
The audio of the EVP is still captured. A voice says, leave me alone. At the same time, the investigator who heard the voice in real time, Dan, says he felt a cold breeze on the back of his neck and he felt someone was standing behind them, whispering into his ear, Would you have the stomach to visit Lexworth Village? Neither would we. Number 4. After Hours Alone at night in an empty school? Nothing to fear, right? Wrong. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Bartholomew Blackwell, the Redditor states that he was working solo in a school that was shut down and empty when he heard a sound in the hallway. <laughs> the power had been put out by a storm the previous night, and with his flashlight on, he started recording. What he heard was haunting. In the dark school hallway, you can hear a faint wailing. It doesn't sound like anything recognizable, although Blackwell noted that to him, it sounded like a group crying. Some in the comments say that perhaps it's wind, or maybe even the Doppler effect of a vehicle of some kind, moving past the school at high speed, noting that he too thinks it could be the wind heightened by a lack of power supply noise. Gus2155 admits, as someone who is a custodian at a high school, I've heard some strange noises, but nothing like that. Some think it could be a hive of zombies, others suggest a water pipe is running, or a backup generator might be starting up. At least we know Blackwell got out alive. Number 3. Get Out What would you do if you heard a voice tell you to get out of your home? Published to YouTube by X Hauntings in July of 2015. The uploader explains that she was filming her basement after finishing some work on it, not expecting anything paranormal to occur, although she does claim the house is extremely haunted. She writes, The first clip is of the green thing zipping past me. It came from another room through the door, and at the same time you hear a scream sound. right after you see a bright yellow orb, and then dozens of them burst right in front of my face. It certainly sounds as though something shouts at her to get out. The growling is creepy in the flash of yellow light. The orb can't easily be explained away. What do you think is happening in this basement? Would you heed this ghostly warning? Number 2. Sensor Light Sensitive sensor lights can sense stuff invisible to the human eye, at least this one can. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Spread the Words, the Redditor shares that strange things have been occurring in his grandmother's house. One of these strange things involve orbs that seem to trigger the hallway sensor lights. This happened on more than one occasion. The short clip does show an orb rising into view, and instantly the hallway light turns on. Is this a paranormal event or merely a coincidence? Believers in the paranormal commonly think orbs are light energy that is somehow linked to the spirit world. Skeptics believe they're just air particles, dust, water, or other types of photography backscatter. But how do you explain dust triggering a light sensor? While there are plenty of skeptics in the comments saying this orb is just dust, Others are prone to think otherwise. How would dust turn on a light? A narrow knot 369 writes that he would assume it was dust if the motion light wasn't triggered by it. But every time the orb appears, the light turns on. Others observe that if the light sensor was sensitive enough to be triggered by dust, wouldn't the light always be on? Whose side are you on? I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Corpsewood Manor The grounds where a double life taking has occurred is no place to be at night. The guys in this video learn that the hard way. Published to YouTube by the Valspire family in October of 2017, this ghost investigation has all the right ingredients for fear. A storm, an abandoned house at night in the middle of the woods, and a Ouija board. 
the host Aiden, says the house has a super creepy backstory and is said to be haunted. The story goes that two male lovers built a mansion up in the woods. As such things weren't accepted at the time, the men had their lives taken in this home. The suspects received life sentences in 1982, but the fact that the police investigation turned up occult tools and books, along with the macabre decor of the home turned the event into a media circus. The men were labeled devil worshippers. And now, back to this video. The ghost investigators leave their house at midnight in a storm, planning to arrive at Corpsewood Manor at 3 a.m. They drive into the woods, and then set out on foot on the path, not sure where they are, ready to get lost. They arrive at a fork in the road and finally find their way to the abandoned manor. Aiden hears a grumbling, which he admits may be thunder. I heard like a grumbling, but that might have been thunder. He says that his camera, with its full battery, keeps shutting off every time they attempt to start with the Ouija board. At 3 in the morning, they begin, asking the Ouija board if anyone had their life taken there. Nothing happens, but they do hear something in the vicinity. Aiden says that he wants to go check it out, and thinks it sounded like someone walking. I heard someone over there. Go ahead. Jared is freaked out, hearing another sound in the trees. He thinks it was probably the wind. Dude, I heard something. No, you did not. They decide to leave because Jared can't take it anymore. Can you blame him? Aiden recalls that when he sat at the Ouija board and opened up the portal to the spirit world, he forgot to say goodbye, and he claims that ever since then, weird stuff has been happening. All I know is that place seriously seemed haunted. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or, if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!